when I decided that I didn't want to just do grant work the rest of my career, that I really missed being in an academic setting, Mercatus seemed to be a logical place for me to return. Hi, I'm Bobby Herzberg, and I'm a Distinguished Senior Fellow in the F.A. Hayek Program in Advanced Studies in Philosophy, Politics, and Economics at the Mercatus Center at George Mason University. I have always known about Mercatus, I think from the beginning of Mercatus, in part because I was trained in uh, public choice theory and was an early attendee at public choice meetings back in the 80s. And as a result, as Mercatus was finding its new sort of existence, I became aware of it uh, through public choice. It was quite different in the way in which I reacted to it at the time. I was trained uh, largely as a political scientist in political economy, game theory, public choice theory in the Rochester School. And as a result, my early interactions were with the more public choice analytic side and of course used Buchanan and Tullock's calculus of consent in my dissertation work. And so I had great admiration for their work. So as they came on later in Mercatus's history, I continued to sort of follow what they did. And I'd always sort of been familiar with it. Then in probably the 90s, I was sort of reintroduced to many of the people at Mercatus through Liberty Fund. And uh, just at a few different Liberty Fund conferences. And as a result, I started developing relationships and familiarity with the work and all the uh, analysis and public choice and began to respect really the scholarship that was being done in a way that very few people in either political science or economics were doing this kind of work. And so they became the sort of star on the hill as far as the disciplines went in terms of combining public choice and this tradition of uh, Austrian economics and the work of Hayek, and then to incorporate the Bloomington School, that was sort of the trifecta for me. It became really the one place in the nation, in the world perhaps, that most reflected my own interests in scholarship. And so it became a sort of natural tradition. I went to John Templeton Foundation from Utah State University, where I was a faculty member, and at John Templeton Foundation then, I was the grant officer, uh, the program officer, over the Mercatus grants for academic and student programs. And so then I got familiar with all of the new programming they were doing with students and how they were bringing along an entirely new generation. And when I decided that I didn't want to just do grant work the rest of my career, that I really missed being in an academic setting, Mercatus seemed to be a logical place for me to return to that academic setting and combine all of the things I liked about being at the John Templeton Foundation and being able to promote classical liberal thinking and uh, libertarian thought with an academic scholarly perspective. And so that's why I joined four years ago, uh, four and a half years ago now, the Mercatus Center as a Distinguished Senior Fellow.